Hey, hello, hello, Reina, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? Excellent, excellent. Hello, Carlos, how are you? I'm good, teacher, how are you? Very good, very good. Hello, Maria, how are you? Hello, teacher, good, thank you. Excellent. Hello, Miguel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Okay. Hello, Katya. Good evening. Welcome. Good, e good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ricardo de Jesus. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. Huh? Okay. Is everybody ready for your class? You ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ready. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. All right, Elmer, raise your hand. Okay, Elmer, I want you to select one student. Select one student, Elmer. Okay, um, Ricardo Ramirez. All right, Ricardo Ramirez. Go ahead, Elmer. I want you to ask Ricardo the questions from yesterday's class. What's your name? Where do you live? Yes, How yes. old are you? Ricardo, okay. you are going to respond. Okay. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, Elmer. What's your name? Ricardo Silva. How old are you, Ricardo? I am 32 years old. Where do you live? I live in San Martin. Where do you work? I work in Ilopango. What is your profession? I studied a degree in business. Okay. Uh, what business, do... administration de empresa. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Administration de empresa, we say business administration. Okay. Like this. Okay. What do you do in your free time? Uh, I I listen music and I play video game. Okay, in this case, I say I listen to music. music. Okay, uh, what do you play for restaurants? Uh, Taco Bell. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music? Um, I like old music, but I like uh, a lot, a lot of uh, pop music. Okay. Do you like salad? Uh, yes, I like. All right. So you say yes, I do. Yes, I what, do. What are you doing right now, Ricardo? I, I speak with you. Oh. <laughs> you say, I am speaking with you. Okay. Do you have any children? No, I not. No, I don't. Don't. No, I don't. 
Where are you from? I am from San Miguel. How old is your mother? She, she has. She is. Oh, she is uh, 62 years old. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is in June 11. Okay. In there, what? you're going to say 11th. 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 That's right. What's your favorite food? Uh, China food and uh, Italian food. Uh, I love know... Chinese food. Chinese. Chinese okay. food. Okay. Thanks, Ricardo. Only that. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now we are going to move forward and let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Who wants to be a volunteer? Me, teacher. All right, Miguel. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Katya. Okay, Miguel, <laughs> ask the questions. Katya, respond to the question. Okay, teacher. What's your name? My name is Katya Kwan. How, how old are you? 45 years old. I am I, 45 years uh -huh. old. Very Hi. good. I am 45 years old. Correct. Years old. Where did you like? Live. I live in, I live in San Salvador. Where did you work? I work in my house. Was it your job? What, what is my job? Yes. My job is is sal, sal woman. Okay. What did you do in your free time? In my free time, I go to the running and I I. <laughs> Salir, teacher. Uh, uh, go out. I, go out. I go out with my family, and I go dance, and I do exercise. Excellent. What is your okay. favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Celeste Imperio. What's your favorite change of music? My favorite music. Yes. My favorite music is rock. Um, I. What is the meaning ballada, teacher? Ballads. Ballads. Ballad English. I like Peter Cetera, Chicago. Uh, and. Okay. What are, what are you doing you doing right now? In this moment, I speak with you. <laughs> I am and speaking. I am, I am, I am I speaking am. with you. Uh -huh. Miguel Angel. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I have children. Yes. Do, do you have children? Do, do, you, do you have, yes. children? have children? Yes, I have children. 
How many children do you have? Two, two children with my husband, three children. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? You're bad, Katya. You're bad. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> I am from in a uh, teacher. I'm yes. from I'm in, from in the country or the municipality of San Salvador or El Salvador. I confuse with where do you live and where are you from? Ah, okay. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Where do you live is is a donde vives. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y where y, are you from? Es de donde y, soy yo, ¿verdad? Y, y where are you from? Es de donde eres. For example, for example, you ask me, Mr. Santos, where do you live? Yo respondo, I live in San Salvador. And then you say to me, mm -hmm. uh, where are you from? Where are you from? And then you say, and then I say to you, well, I, I can say that I am Bueno, I am originally from El Salvador, but I was raised in Houston, Texas. So I say I am from San Salvador. I was raised in Houston, Texas. Eh, soy de San Salvador. Me criaron okay. in Houston, Texas. Uh -huh. So. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> but I I identify myself like a Salvadorian because uh, okay my love is Salvadorian. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you partner. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good teacher. job. Good job. All right. Two more volunteers. You, of course. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. No tenga pena. It's only practice. Hey, teacher. All right, Elba Carolina y Maritza Isabel. Elba Carolina and Maritza Isabel. All right, Maritza, ask the questions, Elba respond. Okay. Okay. Elba ask the question. Maritza okay. respond. Okay. Hi, what's your name? My name is Maritza. Maritza Mendes. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Maritza. Nice to meet you too. Ava. How old are you, Maritza? I'm, How I old am, are you? I, I am 44 years old. Oh, yeah. Where do you live? I live in Central City. Is a uh, city from Santa Ana. Oh, oh yeah. Um, where do you work? I work in Santa Ana in the Ministry of Hacienda. Oh, can uh, you listen to me, Elba? Okay. What's what's your profession, Marisa? I am a accountant. An accountant. 
an accountable. Accountant. Uh, Public accountant. <laughs> Ajá, así se pronuncia. Accountant. Accountant. Ajá, contadora. Accountant. Accountant. Okay, I am. What do you do in your free time? In my free time. Um, I like uh, the listen to music and I like to play the movie, watch, watch TV, <laughs> yes. Netflix, <laughs> so popular. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant uh, is Pizza Hut. I like it. Oh, good. But I like it uh, food in my house. <laughs> Homemade yeah. food, homemade food, oh. homemade, homemade food, food. homemade food, homemade food. What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, my favorite music is romantic music. Rock? Uh, romantic music. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Uh, do you do you like salads? Yes, I like it. What are you doing right now? In this moment, I I am uh, in English class. Yeah. It's big to you. <laughs> oh, uh, do you have any child? Children. Do you have any no. children? Children. No. Do you have any? I have any. No, I don't. 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 <laughs> Correct. Where are you from? I am from Central Oh, I am from Central What? Where is your birthday, Marisa? Where is your birthday? Uh, no. uh, when sorry when, when. Con, con n al final where, where is when. a where yes when sorry. is uh -huh. when is your birthday when is your birthday oh well, the loss uh, next question. Okay. Um, Paul is your mother? Okay, creo que Maritza no nos escucha. Okay. No hay problema de conexión. Okay, así veo. Okay, we stop right here. We stop right here. That's okay. Yeah. All right, good job. Excellent work. Thanks. Okay, guys. Does anybody have any questions about yesterday's class? Do you have any questions about yesterday's class? No. Okay. Today. Yo teacher, yo teacher. Okay, teacher. Ricardo. Lo, lo, lo voy a hacer en español porque no lo puedo formular todo. Okay. Este, 
Cuando preguntaba, se preguntaba, por ejemplo, where do you work? Uh -huh. este, hay yo escuchaba que algunos comentaban este, el, el sitio de, en donde trabajaba, no el lugar. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando a uno le consultan, eso digamos, le dicen, where do you work? Este, uno responde. El lugar donde uno trabaja, el sitio, el sitio geográfico o, o es este, el, la empresa para la cual trabaja. Ajá. Good question, good question. Eh, ¿Puedes responder los dos? Si tú me dices, where do you work? Yo te digo, I work in San Salvador. Y ahí usted me pregunta, what company? Oh. I work in English Corporativo. Yeah, you could say that. Or where do you work? I work in English Corporativo. So it depends. It depends. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It depends on how you want to respond, right? If somebody says, where do you work? Oh, I work in San Salvador. Oh, what company? Oh, I work in English Corporativo. Oh, where do you work? Oh, I work in English Corporativo. Uh -huh. It depends how you want to respond. If you don't want to give uh, specific information, it depends. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at section number 1.3, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about background, your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These are English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Listen to the video in regards to the simple past. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make Can everybody positive hear? and negative statements using the bird to be yes yes, 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 yes. make statements such as i was born in china i wasn't born in the united states let me get started by quickly explaining this chart first of all what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart okay so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in let's say Mexico the first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic it's one basic rule and that's the verb to be so let me uh, let me get to that what I want to do is explain the following concept and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, 
Um, I was born in Argentina. Okay. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red. And I would like to color uh, the verb in green. And then the complement, I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be. And then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina. Right, uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this: uh, He wasn't born in Ar in China. Right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where, and in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So, uh, you were born in Argentina, and of course we can say you, and this will be in its negative form, so this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born. And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world. So maybe your statement could be, I was born in China. I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. My parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. All right. At this moment, what you're going to do is you're going to discuss in pairs, where are you from? Do you want me to repeat the video or did you understand? Teacher, can you repeat play and again? Yes. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the bird to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it. The verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. 
Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina. Okay. And then what I want to say is, I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say, I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement. I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Um, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where. And in our negative statements, that would be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you, and this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world. So maybe your statement could be, I was born in China. I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. Okay, guys, now we're going to work in pairs and we are going to look at the activity. The next activity is going to be section 1.5, section 1.5, right here, 1.5. And I would like for you to complete this exercise in pairs. You will have five minutes. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's yes, go. teacher. Let's go. You got it.
Creo que solo las dos vamos a estar, ¿no? ¿eh? Oh, tres, hay otra. Uh -huh. Oh, pero no la veo. Cuatro. Oh, pues son varios. Dice, read each exercise and choose the best answer. Option one, he was born in Spain. He was born in Spain. Or he was born in Spain. Y dice que eh, veamos cada ejercicio y y que hemos la, 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 la respuesta correcta, la misma respuesta. Uh -huh. Aquí en la, la, la opción, opción one, uh -huh. he was born in Spain. Es el pasado. Él nació uh -huh. en España. Está mal, sí, porque no le eso es lo mejor. No podría compartir la pantalla. Eh, es que como es. <risa> No, no, es, no, es la no, no, la no, 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 pero es que no sé cuál sección es, porque me aparece la sección 1, la 2, la 3, la 4 y la 5. ¿Cómo? Solo me, o sea, me aparece la sección, pero no sé cuál de todas es. Estamos en la 1. En la 1. Ahí le da clic y de ahí va avanzando hasta... ¿No ha trabajado en la plataforma? Ahorita no. Ah, bueno, pues, la primera dice... Ahí en la sección 1. Va, va, va a tocar hasta la segunda, donde tiene el lapicito. Es el segundo lapicito. Ah, bueno. Vale. Uh -huh. Ya después tiene que ir rellenando, ¿verdad? porque le tiene que poner chiquecito en forma. Vale. Sí, me que no, no, no puedo compartir pantalla. Pero como está relacionado el video que vimos, sí. entonces por eso pues ajá, igual. decía que era el pasado de, de, de verbo primero, uh -huh. please complement. Y el complemento de último. Ajá. Entonces, el pasado de, como estamos viendo, de, de simple past, porque ahí preguntaba, ¿verdad? Where were you born? Entonces, ¿que ¿de dónde había nacido? Entonces, ahí ponía el ejemplo que I was born in Argentina. I was. Uh -huh. El pasado de to be, el, el, el tercero de estar es el pasado was, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. I, she, he, it. Wow. Entonces, como estoy diciendo él, ¿verdad? Entonces es was. Si fuera we, you, o te, es were. Entonces, por eso ahí dice es he was born in Spain. Entonces dice, he, eh, verbo to be en eh, pasado, es was. Más complem, born in Spain. Entonces, the right is option one. La primera. 
Yeah. Or number two. You should say my parent. You should say my parent. Algo así como eh, debieron. Um, The, the number two is, uh, debieron decir, my, my, my parents, uh, yeah, I see ocean, but my parent was in France, wasn't, wasn't in France, or were in France. Uh, ¿Cuál de las tres es correcta? Pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí, my parent was in France. Otra yeah. opción. My parent wasn't in front. Y la última es my parent were in front. My yeah, parent yeah. Is, I have, is the plural. Uh -huh. Entonces, it's word. Entonces, la, la última es correct. Uh -huh. uh, number three. Uh, what is grammatically correct answer to this question? La forma grammatical correcta. Where were you born? Where were you born? Uh, so I like those two options. Uh, one option, I were born in Mexico. I were born in Peru. No, option two, I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Uh, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Dice? Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? Uh -huh. eh, Como es eh, eh, plural. Sería what? I was born. I was born. The, the option two is the correct. Uh -huh. And number four, my why? A mi I in uh, está una pregunta in Mexico. Entonces pregunta, my why am I? Entonces was in Mexico o my why am, am I were in Mexico? Yeah, were. Uh, were, were. Uh, is correct. Uh, number five. The English quiz uh, was a little difficult, or the English quiz were a little difficult. What is another option? Solo que es was or were, the, the plural or, or singular. The uh -huh. English quiz a little difficult. Una persona, él está diciendo estaba algo un poco difícil entonces uh -huh. es, 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 es singular es singular es, eh, ahí sería ahí es solo es by, by the question uh, lo que nos va a preguntar puede hacerlo que lo leamos bueno ya no está llamando All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, <laughs> let me have one volunteer. I want you to give me number one. Lea la pregunta y la respuesta, please. Nadia. Um, the question is, which is the correct use? And the answer is number one. He was born in Spain. 
Excellent. He was born in Spain. Carlos, number two. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Okay. Very well. Awesome. Okay. Good job. Uh, okay. Number two. Number please. two. Yes, please. Do you saw say my parents? Um, the correct is, and uh, you saw say my parents. We're we in France. Excellent. Correct. Mm -hmm. We're in France. Number three, yes. Jenny. Está en silencio, Jenny. Sorry, teacher. What is grammar, grammatically correct answer to this question? Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Very good. I wasn't born in Peru. Luis, number four. My wife and I were in Mexico. Were in Mexico, correct. All right, let me have another volunteer, please. One more volunteer. Me, teacher Katia. All right, Katia. <coughs> the English quiz was a little difficult. The English quiz was a little difficult. Correct. Correct. Okay, good job, ladies and gentlemen. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this exercise? Do you have any questions? Vocabulary, pronunciation, something? No, teacher. Okay. 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 All clear. I All have clear. a question. Everything. Yes. When we use is where where I I don't I don't have a clear this. Yes, where is used for plural. For example, we say we were at Galaxy Bowling last Friday. Right? Nosotros estuvimos en Galaxy Bowling. El viernes pasado. So here I use were because I am using we, which is plural. So if the subject is plural, I'm going to use were. For example, my friend and, and I were at Volcatenango last Saturday. So I am speaking about two people, my friend and I is plural. So I use were. <clears throat> Yes? Okay. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes. I have a question because I don't know in Spanish. Dígame. Uh, what se ocupa para primera persona y en tercera persona, verdad? Singular. Correcto. Así es, verdad? Sí. Y el sí. word es en segunda persona y en plural, verdad, teacher? Correcto. You were. Ah, okay. I was. Correcto. Yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Otra pregunta? Teacher, este, mm -hmm. siempre, siempre me cuesta, me confunde el, el por ejemplo, los, el, por ejemplo, acaba de decir usted el at volcatenango. Mm -hmm. Uno, uno en español tiene la mala costumbre de todo ponerle in, quizás uh -huh. porque se parece al en, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, y en uh -huh. este caso, ¿cómo saber diferenciar cuándo es in, cuándo es a? Siempre me, me, me cuesta. Ah, ok, ok. 
Very good question. Very good question. Eh, por ejemplo, yo voy a decir, uh, digamos que alguien me llama y me dice, where are you? ¿A dónde estás? Y yo te digo, estoy en Volcatenango. I am at Volcatenango in Buena Vista Restaurant. Right. So, el, el at es como que más, más eh, el local y en es como que más específico. Vaya, por ejemplo, digamos que estás en la gasolinera y estás en el baño. Te voy a decir, where are you? I am at the gas station. Estoy en la gasolinera. In the restroom. En el baño. Right. So it's like more specific. O digamos que estás en Galaxy Bowling. Where are you? I am at Galaxy Bowling. Pero digamos que estás en el casino. In the casino. Oh, digamos okay, que estás en Metro Centro. I am at Metro Centro in a dock. El at es más como que para el local y el in es como que más para el específico. Okay. Thanks, Tisha. Yes. All right, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the following activity which is section 1.6, build English conversational skills with this lesson on past questions. Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you'll be able to say, were you born in the city? Where were you born? When were you born? And how old were you when you came to this country? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask and answer yes or no questions and WH questions using was and were. Please listen to the video. Sir. Yes, can you hear? No questions. And can you w hear? Questions using the can you hear? The yes, 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 yes. The following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this and let's say uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in let's say red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the, uh, uh, the verb to be here. And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. OK. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. 
then this follows the subject and then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the background. Now, let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc.? So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word, and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we, let me write the same one there, where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we OK, guys, we got to go ahead and stop right here. We got to stop right here. It's already 9 o'clock. So we are going to continue tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Don't stop. Move forward. If you have any questions, ask me the questions and I will help you. Good night, guys. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night, 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 teacher.